Jane's cap woman got all the loot. How come no one told me about it? find any. Please, it's not my... Please hold for Mr. Zaz. I'm sorry, he's not available right now. You need to find the phone. that little accident hadn't happened yet and both of them were looking at me when I put down my cards six of clubs six of diamonds he looked scared he leaned forward and I could smell the cigar stench on his breath the six of spades and finally the six of hearts I felt good and then he started laughing. He belched out smoke and he put his cards down on the table. Card by card, my heart sank. A three, a four, a five, a six, a damn seven! His straight flush ended me there. I was lost and thrown out into the city to die. Penniless. I'm done with you. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's right, worms. Keep walking. You remember how to walk, don't you? Riddler, when I get out of here, I'm gonna hurt you for this. You hear me? Come now, Mr. Cash. In order to hurt me, you would have to break free from the predicament you currently find yourself in and attack me in such a way that does not cause me to press this remote detonator distributing your primitive DNA all over the walls. I'll do it! You'll try. I'll give you that. But I doubt you will succeed without blowing yourself up. Oh, and I'm sure I mentioned the remote detonator I have here. One press cash. You ignorant buffoons will be all over the walls. I can walk all night, Riddler. Good. Let's see if you still feel the same tomorrow. Riddler's attached explosives to his hostages. If they stop moving, they'll die. I can't get in their way. Make it stop. Please, stop this. Uh, uh. I can do this all night! Think you outsmarted me, did you? Well, you didn't. I'll build... What? <laughs> this cannot be happening. Do you really expect me to fall for this dark night? I know you won't kill me. True, but you can't say the same about the others, can you? Get your ass moving, Riddler. You can't tell me what to do! Do I need to press the button? What? No. You'll pay for this, Batman! You sure this thing won't work? No. But there's no point in letting him know that, is there? Close. The truth will soon be shown. The four symbols create a master sigil that looks like it fits over the map of Arkham City. The symbols have marked a point on the map of Arkham City.
I knew you would find me. It wasn't hard. You left me a map. Who are you and what do you want? Why are you watching me? We have been given many names, but you will come to know me as Azriel, loyal servant to the Order of Saint Dumas. Just what I need. Another secret society. I bring a message. Dark days are coming, Batman. The prophecy is coming true. You are the warrior who will close the gates of hell. You are the one who will save this day. And in doing so, events will occur that you cannot stop. From the ashes of Arkham, the fires will rage and Gotham will burn. And you... You will burn too. I don't believe in fairy tales. Believe what you will. The message has been delivered. We will meet again. Looks like another victim of the identity thief. I need to scan the area to see if there are any more clues to his identity and whereabouts. The MO is the same as for the previous victim. First, the killer paralyzes the vocal cords and then removes the face before bandaging up the head. It's definitely him, and it looks like he's stepping up his attacks. A crime with this level of precision requires weeks of premeditation. These aren't just random attacks. Oracle, I've reconstructed a clean set of fingerprints, but there's no match to anything in the Gotham criminal databases. I'm uploading the prints to you now. Check these against every record in the country. Batman, I've found a match for the print, but there must be a mistake. This can't be correct. Who do the prints belong to? You. These are Bruce Wayne's fingerprints. How is that possible? I have no idea. Bruce, I don't know how to say this, but... What's wrong, Barbara? I've been thinking about the identity theft case. Don't get angry. But how can you actually be sure that it wasn't you who killed those people? I mean, they were your fingerprints at the scene. What did you say? Not intentionally, but clearly you're not well. That place is full of maniacs who could take advantage of a situation like that. Think about it. What if Crane got to you again? You know Strange's reputation. Maybe he planted the idea back when you met him. I don't like it, but... It wasn't me. I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. I just, well, you know... Please hold for Mr. Zaz. I'm sorry, he's not available right now. You need to find the phone.
numb. I'd lost everything, and I was alone, crying like a baby staggering through the streets of the city, until I found the answer that I had been looking for. I stood there on the sprang bridge, looking out at the sea. I felt the warm breeze on my skin, and it felt right. I looked down and imagined myself falling into the blissful arms of my mother. And then he appeared. He held out the knife and demanded my money. My money! Can you believe it? I looked into his cold, desperate eyes, and I saw... Something familiar. Something inevitable. I saw oblivion. I saw that we are all the same. Stuck on a miserable loop that demands salvation. So I gave it to him. Another victim. Sooner or later, the killer will slip up. Let's hope it's this time. As with the others, the victim's face was removed pre-mortem with surgical precision. The care taken suggests the killer is more concerned with the parts he's taking than what he leaves behind. Someone has taken a lot of care to cover their tracks. They used bleach to destroy any forensic evidence at the crime scene. Sometimes the lack of evidence is all you need. I'll filter for particles of the bleach and see who was so determined to cover their tracks. Batman's back! Out, it's a bat! There's a fight going on over there! This place is insane. Man, I even saw Bruce Wayne in here earlier. Poor guy's probably dead by now. The name's Ryder. Jack Ryder. The TV reporter? Yeah. You a fan? No. What are you doing here? You tell me. I was doing a piece on Strange. I mean, look around you. Does this seem like a good idea to you? What did you find out? The official line is he's been out of the country, studying some kind of radical psychiatric therapy technique. I did some digging and found a guy who claimed Strange caused his breakdown. Seems that after the professor cured him, he couldn't even remember his name. I wasn't so sure, but I saw some poor guy get dragged off when I was being processed. Strange was picking his victims personally. Arkham City is a dangerous place. I suggest you keep a low profile. You may have a point. I'll lay low, see what's going on down here. You killed that man and dumped his body back there. Why did you take his face? It wasn't me. I just dumped the body. He told me to use bleach to clean it up. Who told you? Wayne, you know, the rich guy. You're lying to me. I'm not. There's an alley near the courtroom. That's where he is. He's crazy, man. You don't want to go in there.
bells always ringing. This is the journal of Dr. Thomas Elliot. My work is complete. The pain, though still present, has been worth it. He will suffer for what he did to me. He will suffer the way I have suffered. As I look in the mirror, I understand how Leonardo felt when he finished the Mona Lisa, how Michelangelo felt when David was complete. My work has taken too long, but now it's time for my masterpiece to be unveiled. My new face is ready. I couldn't have put it better myself. I take it you're here to stop me? What do you think? I think you're too late. You're a killer, a psychopath. I will stop you. Really? But you look just like Bruce Wayne. It took time, of course, to find the perfect donors, to graft on the flesh, and finally to lose myself in order to create this. Six people die. Unfortunate, but necessary to complete my plan. Why would you believe good old-fashioned revenge? <clears throat> to be honest, I don't care if you do. <gasps> Wayne will suffer, and you will not stop me. I can see you have your hands full with Arkham City, but it's time for me to leave now. Pray we do not meet again. Next time, I will not be in such a generous mood. Close the file on the identity thief, Oracle. Have you caught him? No. Prepare a new file on Dr. Thomas Elliot. I'm uploading all the details from his surgery. Elliot? The famous surgeon? Didn't you used to be friends? We were. A long time ago. So he was the identity thief? Hang on. This says he used the faces he collected to make a new one that looked like yours. I mean, Bruce Wayne's. Is he crazy? Uh, no offense. Are you going after him? He's gone. He's left Arkham City. I'll hunt him down tomorrow. <laughs>